Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's a day to commemorate the life and the work of Dr. King, a leader in the civil rights movement. Here at home, the MLK Day Parade kicked off this morning at Magic Island in celebration of Dr. King's vision. KITV Forest Jeremy Lee now joins us with more. Jeremy. Mika, I went down to Waikiki early this morning and I got the treatment of what it's like to unexpectedly turn the corner in Waikiki and see those banners heading towards you down Kalakaua Avenue. All those coming bearing all the aloha. Then, for parade goers, it was off to the park. It's not just for black people, it's for a melting pot of people, which we are. Clay Lewis of Salt Lake told me how his ohana was flying the Nigerian flag, the American flag, and the Samoan flag, representing the diversity within their own family. That's often the case here on the islands. Members of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Coalition Hawaii told me it's what people come here for. All of our vacationers needed to see that. They come all across the world, you know, just to come here, just to see the aloha spirit, which is love. That love and support was sent by Reverend Abraham Akaka in the form of lays, which adorn the marchers in Selma, Alabama. Dr. Jeffrey Akaka says his father traveled to the mainland and saw segregation himself. And he couldn't drink out of fountains. You know, he couldn't use bathrooms because it said whites only. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he knew what this discrimination was about. Akaka said his father was inspired to go to Washington, D.C. and lobby for civil rights legislation, that Hawaii could help contribute to that vision, and it still can today. I think that we lead the nation in so many of those opportunities, so many of those heartfelt intentions, and really the true dream that Dr. King had is that we would live together in harmony. Uh, he, he remarked about how Hawaii was a shining example of how the world could be. You know, you had all these different people, all these different races, you know, living together. It's like, well, of course, why can't it be like this everywhere? MLK Day serves as a necessary reminder of how far we have come and still can aspire towards, Alfonso Bragg says, for future generations. And unless we, who understand the legacy of Dr. King, work with the next generation to preserve that legacy and that commitment and what that example looks like, then the dream that Dr. King had will surely fade. Dr. Jeffrey Akaka told me they don't actually have a photo of his father with uh, Reverend Dr. King, but they have made recent discoveries going through mementos belonging to the late Reverend Abraham Akaka, who served as kahu of the Kavaiahau Church here in Honolulu. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.